Okay, hello everybody. My name is Belle Cody and this is the Concert Convoy. So the Concert Convoy started last year when I decided to add on an entrepreneurship minor. I was like, what can I do to help change music and bring it to more people and kind of expand the market? Um, because as a musician, I look out at a crowd and sometimes I've put months into this music and I don't see a full house. Sometimes I hardly see anybody there. And I would love to bring more people in. And so this was my way to kind of expand audiences. So what I had to do in these classes is look at what types of people do attend events. So who attends and who loves music? And which people love music but can't attend? And so that's the group that I decided to focus on, the people that love music but aren't able to attend events. These are called unable music lovers. And for these three reasons, they can't attend events. Either they don't have reliable transportation, they can't afford a ticket price, or they don't have a community to go with. And so this is just a way for them to get to concerts and experience them just like everybody else, but for an affordable price. Uh, last December, I took 14 senior citizens from Marsh, po Marsh Point Apartments um, to go see an MSU Glee Club concert. Um, I was able to work with MSU to create a discount code that gives them half price tickets and for just half price tickets they were able to go to the entire thing. So this is what it looks like. Um, they get on the bus and on the bus they're told by an MSU student or presenter what the concert's about, who's going to be performing, and kind of like a little history of all the composers too. And then they get to go home and talk about the concert and what they enjoyed on the ride back. And like I said, this is all for a super affordable price. Oh, I also want to mention that I got a ton of survey results back from this that showed that this was super important to all of these people. I got to ask, how many concerts have you been to in the last year? And some of them jokingly were like, uh, can we do the last lifetime? Like the whole lifetime? Um, I was like, uh, no, let's do the last year. But only two of them had been to one or more. So these people are, like I said, people that can't attend concerts. Um, so this is what my budget looks like. Uh, we plan to do one concert this semester, and that's going to end up costing $1,025. So as you can see, that, that sticker price on the bus looks kind of intimidating. It's kind of a lot of money. But that includes the driver, that includes insurance, that includes a ride where they can all visually see each other and connect with each other. And the presenter will even have like, TV screens behind them if they want to do a slideshow. And since I'm so focusing on senior citizens first that are in this category, I want to make sure that they're easily able to get on the bus and it's going to be a comfortable ride for them. Um, then, this summer, I hope to start fundraisers and everything, but you can't really do fundraisers and get a lot of grants without having that nonprofit status. So I want to start having website, a website with all my information on it so people can find me as well as that nonprofit profit status to move us forward. Now I know you're looking at this and you're saying, Belle, the highest price is 2,500 for this, the highest prize here, and your budget looks like it's only 1,500, but we hope to become partners with MSU. And from there, we'll do four to six concerts per semester, and I, I plan to start this next fall. And um, with that status, we'll be able to bring more and more people to these concerts, and as well as start a residency here with any student that would like to maybe become a musicologist, are already a musicologist, or just really are interested in bringing information about music to people. So this next slide is going to show you um, a video of kind of what that, uh, what that uh, project that I did looks like.
Thank you so much. I love the idea. I think it's really, really, it's a great outreach thing. The thing I can't wrap my head around though is the cost for the bus to do a six hour rental when it's only gonna be used for 30 minutes there, 30 minutes home. And you know, I, I understand that's the business metrics, but I think to make this a super strong viable thing, finding partnerships with MTA or Campus Bus, you know, I'd recommend do you have you had any thoughts about that? Yes, 100%. Um, I think this is probably the thing that I think about the most is making sure that it can be affordable and be a good bus ride. So um, right now, this is the price that I'm looking at, but I'm hoping to create a partnership with a transportation company in the area. Um, yeah, so they can maybe sponsor us and we'll, we'll get a cheaper price on there. Um, just for now. Um, I think it, it's difficult without that nonprofit status to um, look at look at a company and have them willing to support this project. Um, yeah. And, and what's the capacity of the bus? How many people? Thirty-six people. Um, I was just wondering if you put um, further thought into fundraising to keep this not only sustainable, but to expand it beyond, um, maybe to like well beyond eight concerts per year? Yeah, 100%. Um, like I, I think I mentioned, I'm starting with senior citizens, just because I think that's the biggest community that there's a lot of support and a lot of grants behind that I could, um, yeah, definitely expand this and do more concerts per year and different events as well as just for MSU. But um, I, I do hope to also, you know, maybe bring some schools that have um, lower funding to events as well. Um, I hope that answered your question. Um, I'm just wondering, have you identified, have you looked at like um, organizations who, who bring schools in where the schools get the buses? I know there's grants available sometimes to bring schools in. Like, um, do you see yourself as being an enabler for these kinds of things to happen, uh, kind of a middleman to connect these people, or are you looking for this to be something separate um, um, from the, the, the art organizations who are putting on the concerts, so it could be any art, art organization you're working with, is that the idea? Right, um, I think I, I hope to be more of a person that they can point to, to like help them do that sort of event, because sometimes um, yeah, there's a lot of groups that'll do this sort of um, bus ride on their own, but um, if they could look to the concert convoy to start doing rides for them, that would be the ultimate goal, I think. <laughs>